Hello, my friends. I'm glad you're back for a cold, wet egg. Well, that is exactly what our chapter is called today, Cold, Wet Egg. Now pay close attention because you'll want to re remember some of the parts of the story so that you can answer some questions later. All right, let's get started with chapter six, Cold, Wet Egg. This Friday night would have je been just as spectacularly dull as the last if Ben hadn't remembered to bring his magazine with him this time. Once again, Mum and Dad dumped their only child at Granny's. As soon as he arrived, Ben rushed past her into this cold, damp little bedroom, shut the door, and read his copy of the latest Plumbing Weekly from cover to cover. There was an amazing guide with lots and lots of color photographs showing how to install the new generation of combi boilers. Ben folded over the corner of the page. Now he knew what he wanted for Christmas. Once he'd finished the magazine, Ben sighed and headed into the living room. He knew he couldn't stay in his bedroom all evening. Granny looked up and smiled when she saw him. Scrabble time! she exclaimed cheerily, holding up the board. The next morning, the air was thick with silence. Another boiled egg? said Granny as they sat down in her rundown little kitchen. Ben didn't like boiled eggs. He hadn't finished the first one yet. Granny could even ruin food this simple. The egg would always come out all watery, and the soldiers were always burnt to a cinder. When the old lady wasn't looking, Ben would flick the egg gloop out the window with his spoon and hide the soldiers behind the radiator. There must be a whole platoon of them back there by now. No thanks, Granny. I'm completely full, replied Ben. Delicious boiled egg, thank you, he added. Mmm, murmured the old lady, unconvinced. It's a bit nippy. I'm just going to put on another cardigan, she said. Even though she was already wearing two, Granny trundled out of the room, quacking as she went. Ben flicked the rest of his egg out the window and then tried to find something else to eat. He knew that Granny had a secret stash of chocolate biscuits that she kept on the top shelf in the kitchen. Granny would give Ben one on his birthday. Ben would also help himself to one from time to time when his Granny's cabbage-based delicacies left him as hungry as a wolf. So he quickly slid his chair over to the cupboard and stood on it to reach the biscuits. He lifted the biscuit tin. It was a big silver jubilee assortment tin from 1977 that featured a scratched and faded portrait of a much younger Queen Elizabeth II on the lid. It felt really heavy, much heavier than usual. Strange. Ben shook the tin a little. It didn't feel or sound like it had biscuits inside. It was like it had stones or marbles in it. Even stranger. Ben unscrewed the lid. He stared, and then he stared some more. He couldn't believe what was inside. Diamonds, rings, bracelets, necklaces, earrings, all with great big sparkling diamonds, 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 and more diamonds. Ben was no expert, but he thought there must be thousands of pounds worth of jewelry in the biscuit tin, maybe even millions. Suddenly, he heard, he heard Granny quacking her way into the room. Fumbling desperately, he put the lid back on and placed the tin on the shelf. He leaped down, yanked his chair over, and sat at the table. Glancing at the window, he realized that his flicked egg hadn't flown out into the garden, but it was smeared across the glass. Granny would need a blowtorch to get it off if it dried, so he rushed over to the window and sucked the cold, wet egg off the glass, then returned to his seat. It was too unpleasant to swallow, so, in a panic, Ben kept it in his mouth. Granny shuffled back into the kitchen, wearing the third cardigan, still quacking. Better get your coat on, young man. Your mummy and daddy will be here in just a trick tick, she said with a smile. Ben reluctantly swallowed the cold, wet egg. It slipped down his throat. Yuck, yuck, and double yuck. Yes, he said, fearing he would vomit and deposit the egg back on the window, scrambled. Chapter 7. Bags of Manure Can I stay at Granny's again tonight? 
announced Ben from the back seat of his mom and dad's little brown car. The diamonds in the biscuit tin were so puzzling, he was desperate to do some detective work, maybe even search every nook and cranny of the old lady's bungalow. This was all awfully mysterious. Raj had said his granny might have a secret or two, and it seemed like the news agent was right. And whatever granny's secret was, it must be pretty amazing to explain all those diamonds. What if she used to be a zillionaire, or worked in a diamond mine, or been left them by the princess? Ben couldn't wait to find out. What? asked Dad, astonished. But you said she was boring, said Mum, equally astonished, irritated even. <laughs> you said all old people are. I was just joking, said Ben. Dad studied his son in the rearview mirror. He found understanding his plumbing-obsessed son hard enough at the best of times. Right now, Ben wasn't making any sense at all. Mmm, well, you are sure, Ben. I'm sure, Dad. I'll call her when we get home, just to check she's not going out. Going out? scoffed Mum. The old dear hasn't gone out for twenty years, she added with a chuckle. Ben wasn't sure why this was funny. I took her out to the garden center that time, protested Dad. It was only because you needed someone to help you carry a lo load of bags of manure, said Mum. She had a super day out, though, said Dad, sounding miffed. Later, Ben sat alone on his bed. His mind was racing. Where on earth had Granny got the diamonds? How much were they worth? Why would she live in that sad little bungalow if she was so rich? Ben searched and searched his mind, but couldn't find any answers. Then Dad entered the room. Granny's busy. She says she'd love to see you, but she's going out tonight, he announced. What? spluttered Ben. Granny hardly ever went out. Ben had seen her calendar. The mystery was getting even more mysterious. And I'm wondering what's going to happen, too. What is Granny doing? Hmm. All right. Do your best work. Complete sentences, right? What do you think Granny's up to? Maybe we'll find out next time. Or maybe some more mystery. Mm -hmm.